What's up, Spark students? Welcome to week two, module two. I hope you had a fun time last week with module one on how to find your purpose. Now, if you did not do the actionable yet, that little worksheet, then I'm gonna have you pause this right now and go do that first because you have to do that in order to move into module two. We're going to choose a really meaningful goal that is from that day in the life of your perfect life. Now, I want to share with you my experience with choosing the wrong goals for most of my life because I feel like that's where most people are. Now, I used to unconsciously choose goals. I used to choose goals based off of what I thought I needed to get by or to get to the next level up a corporate ladder. The goal for me for many, many years was to make a certain amount of money per month, which was $5,000. And every month I would get a little bit closer and once I finally reached that $5,000 mark, it was seemingly impossible for me to move past that because that was the goal that I had for so many years in my life. Now when I did the first day in the life exercise, for me back in 2017, I had so many things that poured out of me that I had no idea I even wanted in my life. When I got really, really honest with myself with what a dream life could look like, it was kind of nothing like what I was currently living. I wanted to travel the world and I hadn't even been outside of the West Coast at this point. I wanted to write a best-selling book that would help other people, but I had never written really more than a couple of blog posts in my life. I wanted to have an abundance of money that allowed me to feel less stress and free and spaciousness. I wanted to have influential friends. All of these things at that point in my life, I had nothing of. Now this is 2017, this was not that long ago. I can tell you everything in that day in the life that I wrote down in 2017 has either come true or is very close and on its way to coming true right now. I want you to pause and think about that for a second because no matter what your current reality looks like right now, that perfect life could happen in such a short amount of time if you continue to follow these lessons in Spark School, it's all gonna unfold perfectly for you. So think about that. Now, how to choose a meaningful goal. I used to choose the wrong kind of goals. We talked about me trying to make $5,000 for the longest time. And when I really thought about like, not money, not I mean, put money aside, what does life really look like for me if I'm living to my highest, fullest potential? And when I thought about all of the things that I wanted to do in that dream life, it honestly felt really overwhelming. How do I get from where I'm at to that dream life? Because so many things had to happen in order for that to come true. And you might be feeling that right now. You might be thinking like, oh my goodness, I'm in this job that I don't like and I'm in a relationship that I'm not really happy in. I don't have a lot of money. I'm not doing all these things and I want to go there. And this is where most people get tripped up. They start to dream big and then they their brain instantly starts thinking about all the things that we think has to happen in order for it to come true and it becomes overwhelming and we shut down. So this, my friends, is gonna be a huge game changer for you. We are going to start the ball rolling towards that dream life and it starts with choosing one meaningful goal. Now, a lot of people will start like 2017, 2018, 2019 with uh, New Year's resolutions and they wanna create something, they wanna have a goal and, and it's usually something to do with improving their, their body, their finances, their, their mind, their spirit, but they don't ever correlate it with the long term of where they wanna end up. So I want you to go back into your day in the life exercise and I want you to pick out one thing that excites you the most out of that. For me, the thing that excited me the most was being a best-selling author. I used to love to write when I was in high school and I really felt like I had this book that was boiling up inside of me, but going from having been writing in the longest time to having a best-selling book seemed so far-fetched that I had to start with something small. Now, if you start thinking about all of the steps it's gonna take to get to one goal, you will feel overwhelmed. Don't think about the steps. One, because yes, it will be overwhelming, but two, those steps almost always aren't the steps that you actually need to take. All you need to know is what that next first step is. So pick the one thing in your goal that excites you the most, stop for a moment and think, is it becoming an author? Maybe it's finding your perfect soulmate. Maybe it's having that beautiful house or traveling. 
What's one thing that you can do right now to take one step in that direction? For me, it was taking a writing class. Something simple. I went to a writer's workshop. And guess what happened? At that writer's workshop, I learned how to do a book proposal. And it just so happened at that particular writer's workshop, they picked one person out of the entire selection of attendees that they were actually going to give a book proposal to. Now, whether or not I have gotten that book proposal is to be determined, but it got the ball rolling. I learned not only how to write a book proposal, but I got into the habit of writing. So whether or not I actually get that book deal, I know it's going to happen, and I know I'm that much closer to getting that best-selling book. And it all happened in the span of six months. Six months, people. Now I can move on to another goal in that dream life. So right now, you're gonna open up your worksheet. Yes, there's another worksheet. It, these things, I promise you, you might feel like you're back in high school or college again, but they do work because there's power when you put what's in your head onto paper. It actually, and we'll get into the woo-woo stuff down the road a little bit, stay with me here, but it actually draws it closer to you. The universe will reward you for actually making a commitment to this. So if you put it down on paper and write down what that goal is and the steps that you're going to take to get there, it will come true. Now, I know at this point, you, we're not like super close yet. You might not be very like aware of Rachel's world, I'll put it that way. You are gonna learn a lot of scientific and spiritual principles that make, all of this will make sense. I promise you that. But for now, I'm gonna ask you to trust me. So pick that one thing and you're gonna write it down in your worksheet and then you're gonna break it down on what the first next step is that you can make towards that goal. And I promise you there's always something. If you're having a hard time and you're feeling stuck on what that first step could be, join us in the Facebook group. Ask your peers. I bet you there's somebody out there who has a great suggestion for you. Remember, there are no coincidences. Every single person in this group is here for a reason, and it might just be to support another person on their journey together. So, module two, we're gonna break down your goal. Now, this goal you can either keep for the duration of this whole year of Spark School, or you can move on to another goal because that one might happen really, really quick. That's awesome. You might have a, like a ton of goals while we're doing this together, but this is the one thing that we're gonna start with and I want you to be really, really excited about it. Remember, this is your first step towards that dream life. And if you're really taking this seriously, even if you have doubts in the back of your mind, we're gonna talk about how to squash doubts in future modules and how to really face your fear. I want you to keep moving down this process and just trust, trust me, that this is the next step towards creating that dream life and finding your purpose. I'll see you in module three.